the professional families of America for the past 69 years have become rich and millionaires by causing poverty, suffering, and death. Their incomes are derived from the very things that cause the growing poverty, suffering, and early deaths. Their increasing of all the following. Propagandizing that they are superior people with superior social and economic rights. Monopoly of the executive and representative positions of government, institutions, and corporations. Increasing their executive and professional salaries, profits, dividends from stocks, bonds, increasing prices, taxes, fines, fees, rents, usury, foreclosures, repossessions, attachment, seizures, privatizations, eminent domain, unemployment, low paid and temporary and part-time jobs with no benefits, institutionalizations, imprisonments, incarcerations, accomplished by seditious administrators, executives, supervisors, judges, lawyers, police, and other seditious agents and assigned institutional brutality and violations of human rights, illegal, criminal, seditious, unconstitutional dispatch of armed troops against the people, specifically forbidden by the Constitution, and other antisocial, uneconomic, criminal, uneconomic, antisocial behavior that destroys the legitimate government, the viability of the society and human life, the imbalance in the physical and psychological dynamics that they have created in nature accumulates to unstoppable volume, force, and momentum that now assure their early deaths and genocide. It is called the ruling class genocide and it occurs to individual families in societies that are in various stages of self-destruction. And finally, to whole classes of people, such as the royals and aristocrats of Europe, the Jews of Germany, the Puritans of England and America. You did not even notice the genocide of the Guggenheims, Washingtons, Franklins, Lincolns, Leopolds, Loeb's, Rothschilds, Lees, and the number of Jews among them is noticeable, as others picked up their pieces, assumed their titles and roles, and continued with little, no, 
and significant changes. Full employment, full pay, and full benefits. Legitimate, egalitarian, universally representative democracy, government, and viable society of peace, goodwill, universal economy, and honor for all human rights. With restored controls and regulation of corporate and institutional fees, prices, and exploitation would seem a small price for them to pay, a small concession. Considering the alternative, their early deaths and family genocides, in the continuous and continually increasing economic crisis, of elitist inequity, disparity, antisocial polarizations and categorizations of persons, exclusion from social and economic intercourse requisite to a life, and the continuous and continually increasing phenomena of the human sacrifice of war, poverty, chaos, violence, desperation, crime, institutional and corporate, corporate violations of human rights, destruction of the legitimate government and the voiding of its legitimate functions, destruction of the viability of the society, its peace, goodwill and universal economy, and the constant, continuous, and continually increasing illegal, criminal, unconstitutional, illegitimate rituals of human sacrifice by poisoned needles, electricity, gas, rope, blade, stick, fire, fist, and foot that await the fallen ruling class families of bankrupt, uneconomic, antisocial, criminal enterprise. Capitalism, mammon, contradicts the teachings of Jesus, contradicts the natural law, contradicts the natural social and economic law, and contradicts the legitimate, egalitarian, universally representative democracy, government, and society of the United States of America and its peace, goodwill, universal economy, and honor for human rights. It is not democracy nor the conscionable freedom that is recognized as an inalienable human right, and it is not the American religion or philosophy. It is an uneconomic, antisocial philosophy of elitism, inequity, exclusion, and human sacrifice. The gaining of wealth at any cost.